Hello, and welcome to episode 220 of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Burkert, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Burkert. We're going to be having another world-class beer. So I'm very excited today to be having the Weihenstefan, or um, Dunkel. Is their Dunkelweizen or dark wheat beer. Um, they also call it a, a regular half a Weiss beer, but it's, it's a Dunkel, so it's dark wheat. I, I'm going to pour it into this beautiful uh, Wyan Stefan uh, glass, so very excited about that. So let's go ahead and pour this and uh, let's talk about it. Well, first of all, when I say world class beer, this beer is rated. 95 out of 100. So, as you can see, you're getting that big, beautiful, off-white head, a nice dunkel color, but usually a, a little redder than a lot of the dunkels that are out there that I've had. But it, it, I've had this beer, and it is a good. And when I say it's good, if you like dunkels, which I love dunkels, this is actually the number one rated Dunkel, uh, Dunkel Vice in the world. Um, so we're definitely having a beauty right here. Uh, when you think of all the great ones, like I've really, always been a really big fan of the Erdinger Dunkel Vice, which I think we've had that before. Uh, but this is uh, from the, the oldest brewery in the world. Uh, it dates back well, the original uh, brewery started back at, in 740 A.D., okay? The, the brewery that's still running to the day, which is the oldest uh, fully functioning brewery in the world, um, is from uh, 1040 A.D. But the original brewery, when they first started brewing the beer uh, for this company, was back in, uh, I'm sorry, at 725. So it was even earlier. I thought for some reason I had 740 in my brain, but 725. So it's been around for a while. Um, so let's talk about this beer. Let's smell it and see what we think here, okay? Mmm. Oh, so you get that really good yeast that gives you like a the smell of like the bananas, the um, almost seems like a light uh, coriander, very like uh, weedy, kind of malty um, complexity in the smell. But there's definitely a, a sweetness and, and that's, that's derived from the, the wheat. I mean, from the, the um, yeast, but it is really in this beer, exceptional in the smell when you smell it, it just smells so fantastic now I'm not gonna lie to you I've had this beer before um, matter of fact I had had one of these a couple of weeks ago and that's what made me think that I needed to uh, do it again because it was so enjoyable I actually uh, got a bunch of these uh, this uh, uh, breweries beers uh, I think I got a five pack that came with this beautiful glass. Um, so we'll probably do some other um, beer issues with these. But I thought I would do this since, you know, it's um, getting ready to be October. Oktoberfest has already started. So why not have some great German beers? Okay, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's waste no time and let's uh, talk about this beer. Oh, such a classic and actually very light dunkel. Now, when I uh, talk about a dunkel, I always tell people you'd like a dunkel if you like a wheat with a little bit more flavor. Because that's pretty much what a dunkel vice is. It's just a dark wheat as opposed to light wheat. So it is just a little bit more flavor. Not in a bad way at all, actually a good way. Uh, and that's why I like the Dunkel uh, a lot more. 
but you get a lot of the same characteristics. You get the weedy beer with the with the you know even the light uh, taste of the banana, the um, uh, you know coriander, maybe some clove in there. I don't, I, it's if it's in there, it's very light. But this is a kind of light for a Dunkelweiss um, because uh, a lot of the Dunkelweisses that I, I've you know drank over the years. They're a little bit darker in color. This is a little bit more red um, than your typical. But, I mean, the, they know what they're doing. They've been doing it for a long, long, long time. I mean, they're the world's oldest brewery. So uh, they, they have really just made a beautiful beer here. And uh, that's why it's rated 95 out of 100 and the number one Dunkel in the world. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, right? Mm. That is so outstanding. Um, so if you see any of these, this is always a tough one to uh, pronunciate, but it's a uh, wine Stefaner is uh, how you pronounce it. And uh, um, when you see it, you know, you have to sit there and think about it. And I always have to do this. Every time I have this beer, I've had it uh, a million times before. But uh, wine Stefaner um, is how it's pronounced, I believe. I, I should look that up to make sure that I'm not way off base. But um, absolutely phenomenal beer. Classic German style Dunkelweizen. Maybe even a little bit light in, in for a Dunkel, a little bit light in the taste. Um, for a regular Hefeweizen, this would be a very flavorful have a bison. But the thing about it is, is they, the, the same brewery makes their regular Hefeweizen, which is uh, rated, I think it might be rated the number one Hefeweizen in the world. I'm not really sure. I'd have to go back and look, but I know it's rated extremely high. Um, and the thing about that one is, to me, it's so smooth that it doesn't have enough flavor. I like I like a half of ice with just a little bit more flavor. That's why I lean towards a lot of times the Dunkles. Um, but I mean, it's still a great beer. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it is a great half of ice, and it's just so light that um, I I like a little bit more flavor in my in my wheat, and that's that's a personal thing. But obviously, if it's rated the number one, then, you know, my, maybe my opinion isn't as, uh, as good as I think. But um, act, absolutely amazing beers, all of them. They have, I, I had the, we had uh, sat around and the family drink. We drank five of them the other day, just sitting around during happy hour. And we kind of shared them amongst everybody. And every everybody in the family uh, liked all the uh, all the beers that they make, uh, even you know, like uh, people who didn't think they were going to like the Dunkel, and they typically don't like Dunkels. They like this Dunkel because, like I said, it's a little bit lighter than some of the other Dunkels. To me, I don't I don't look at a Dunkel as a uh, um, a heavy beer to begin with. So I, you know, but um, everybody loved their beer. So. I stopped and got five more. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you tell your friends about beer issues and how much fun we're having talking about great beer and drinking great beer. If you want any cool beer issues gear, like beer issues hats, phone cases, t-shirts, you name it, go to shop.beerissues.com. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.